Now from the Weather Tracker TV Storm Studios, this is your weather today. Here's Chief Meteorologist William Cole. All right, folks, here we go now on this Hump Day Wednesday, and it's going to be another day where overall the weather today, it's going to be relatively quiet. Now, we do have increase in cloud cover out there, uh, but it's still going to be tomorrow, Thursday, the opportunity of rainstorms. Again, tomorrow looking pretty unsettled, and then we still have one more opportunity of rain and storms at the end of the weekend late on Sunday, and the opportunity of severe weather on Sunday appears to be increasing. So we do want to talk about that, of course, also give you a complete peek at that weekend forecast in full coming up as well. Uh, but today a little bit milder, 72 for a daytime high, breezy, again, mostly cloudy. It's a kind of a generally cloudy afternoon. Uh, but even though we have quite a bit of cloud cover through the daylight hours, we do remain dry. In fact, looking around North Texas, uh, we're dry this morning. Again, nothing going on out there. Uh, just looking at the features around the region, kind of connecting the dots, uh, you see that little red and blue line up across parts of Oklahoma, even snaking in the parts of our Texas panhandle. That'll be the trigger later today for rainstorms, more than likely severe weather up across parts of Oklahoma, even in our Texas panhandle, a little dry line will move into our Texas panhandle as well. But that's not really gonna be impacting our weather locally here in North Texas. It's still truly this, it's this upper level storm system that, again, we've been talking about for days. It's been anchored out across the desert Southwest. It has now kicked it in the gear. Yesterday it began to move and it's now moving in our direction. It'll come directly across North Texas tomorrow. And as it moves through, the opportunity of rain and storms will be on the upswing. You see it right there. And again, you see the path literally moving right down Interstate 20 directly across North Texas. Then we get relatively quiet as we get into the weekend. I say relatively quiet because by late weekend, talking about late on Sunday, it's this right here. We have our next approaching storm trough. This one's got a little more juice with it and there's going to be a little more instability available and the way it looks right now especially on sunday late sunday and early monday there's going to be an opportunity of severe weather around the area now today just looking around the region could be a little severe weather later today down along the gulf coast and then like i mentioned up across parts of oklahoma now for tomorrow thursday the Storm Prediction Center, uh, they have jiggled this around a little bit. They have went ahead and penciled in a little more red. You can see it there across North Texas. Again, as that core, the core of this upper level storm system moves directly across the area, it's very cold aloft and the opportunity of quarter to maybe even some half dollar size hell, not necessarily impossible. I don't see a lot of organized severe weather, but again, it's not impossible. We get a few hell cores to go as we go through tomorrow afternoon. We'll track that. Otherwise, we're mainly talking about rain. We're mainly talking about, generally speaking, a good old fashioned rain. There's the instability tomorrow. There will be some, but again, generally speaking, it's gonna be fairly well lacking for organized severe weather. So going forward in time, again, we're quiet today. We're quiet tonight. This would be sunrise tomorrow morning, a few showers around. Then as we go through the day, it's this right here. That's the core. You can see the counterclockwise spin moving through the area. Again, the opportunity of rain, storms, heavier downpours, and again, an isolated severe storm or two with a hail concern. Again, simply put, not impossible. All things combined, this is not just tomorrow, Thursday. This takes us all the way through Sunday and early Monday. Both storm systems combined. This will be another good rain around the area. Again, some locations picking up an inch to nearly two inches. But again, not all tomorrow. Like I mentioned, tomorrow and Sunday, everything combined. So again, we continue to really do well as far as picking up much needed rain as we go through the month of March. Lower to mid 70s, daytime highs, generally cloudy today, we're dry. And again, even if you're making evening plans, temperature slowly easing through the 60s. This evening here in the Metroplex, I do think we remain dry as well. And then by sunrise tomorrow morning, 50s mostly around the area, could be a few showers again to start the morning. And then as we go through the afternoon, uh, because of the clouds, again, some rain, some thunderstorms around the area, uh, temperatures will be held down some tomorrow, 60s to still possibly a few 70s in our western counties. So rainstorms likely tomorrow, Thursday, will taper that off on Friday morning, and then simply put the rest of Friday turns out, Saturday turns out, most of Sunday turns out, but there's that next opportunity of rain and storms late Sunday, ending early Monday morning. And again, you can see in general, a lot of 70s showing up for daytime highs. More coming up.